My name is Sarah Johnson. I'm from uh, Weagamau Lake First Nation, um, also known as North Caribou Lake First Nation. I, uh, I'm a Native Language Perspectives Lead uh, for Kiwet uh, na Board of Education. Um, this is my second year uh, working for them. I uh, mentor uh, Native language teachers in the five communities. So most of my work involves um, projects. And uh, so this year's project, well, the past, this past year's project um, was, um, is the language app. So, um, it, uh, we started it uh, last October and uh, it became um, available uh, this November. So it was, uh, it has been a, a long, uh, took time, took a lot of time, um, patience, uh, a lot of discussion and building this uh, project. So um, this involved the work of my native language teachers from each of the five communities, Kiwewin, North Spirit Lake, uh, Deer Lake, uh, Poplar Hill. So um, Kiwewin, Deer Lake, and North Spirit are Oji Creek communities. Uh, Poplar Hill is Ojibwe community, uh, and Fort Severn is the Cree community. So we, um, the language app is all three different apps in all those three, three language apps. So uh, it, uh, we had 500 words to work with. So uh, the initial part of the project was, you know, bringing the teachers together, uh, elders, um, parents, um, and uh, to discuss the, the project. And then it, uh, then they went back to their communities and worked on it, uh, translating it mostly, uh, interpreting, you know, the, uh, in, uh, from English to um, their language. So um, that took some time because some of the challenges we faced was uh, uh, finding words for some uh, terms. And um, when it, so they would, uh, you know, finish, you know, a couple of pages. Each time they did, you know, a couple of pages, um, they would send it to me. Then I typed them. I typed all the terms in the, in um, syllabics, and then um, then I send them back. You know, it was all, always you know sending translations, like translated words back and forth, so that uh, we uh, up until the I think the last week of the launch, we uh, no actually uh, two weeks before the launch. I mean before we made it public. It took like in the last two weeks to still edit, um, you know, the term, you know, syllabic so it's correct. We did a photo shoot um, of the app here in Sulakaut. Uh, it took one week to uh, uh, take photos of uh, um, for the app, and uh, we included some uh, some children. Um, our my native language uh, teacher's uh, daughter and granddaughter. Yeah, it was, uh, it was uh, fun. And recording, yeah, that was another, another challenge is recording because um, you get intimidated, you know, when you're, um, when it's time to record. So we worked as a group and so we did like one day just Ojikri people and another day Cree, Ojibwe people and another day the Cree people. So uh, it was, you know, we had to get it right. 
So once we were done with the recording, we review it, we listen. We listen to it, we look at the words, we display the words on the screen, and we listen to the sound of the of what was recorded and we are making changes as we're going. So that's one of the you know work that was involved. The target is for um, students. Um, we want to um, use it for student use in the classroom um, classrooms but um, as it is going now, um, it's for anyone. Anyone from, you know, preschooler can use it to um, adults. Because we have it on, um, it's in public now. Um, we, that was our goal was to um, make it public uh, to, uh, we, because we are sharing people uh, we want to reach to you know everyone that can uh, take something from the language app. Uh, if they can learn one word, um, that's a that's a bonus. Mm -hmm. One one word a day. The purpose of this uh, app is to you know bringing back the language and uh, continue maintaining to maintain what we have um, and also to awaken the inner spirit um, because um, most of us, the younger generation, are not speaking the language and it's in there, it's in there, it's in them, it's in their being and uh, we want um, I would like them to, you know, wake, wake up the inner spirit. The focus we had in, you know, with this program was project was to um, focus on the 21st century learner, because we are in 21st century. So, and uh, most people are using um, technology now. Um, they're using it constantly. They cannot go without it, right? <laughs> so um, this is uh, so. This is one way to um, uh, bring the language. Um, it's in their hands, right? It's in their hands. So it's there. It's in their, you know, pockets. Mm -hmm. So. Um, they can easily, if they have that app in the in their you know, in their on their phone, for example, or you know, on their iPads. You know, it's there. They can look it up. They can scroll it, and you know, swipe and scroll, <laughs> and learn. <laughs> Indigenous education is um, knowing who you are. Um, it depend, you know, um, knowing who you are, um, knowing your place, where you stand on, um, to acknowledge the land where you are. If you are working there, um, going to school, you know, it's good to acknowledge the place where you are. Um, and recognizing the the people that have lived there before us. That's um, that's um, indigenous education for me, and um, being able to um, um, say your name in the language, uh, where you come from. Uh, you can say um, when you see someone. When you see someone in passing, or when you're introducing yourself, um, you can say, Bonjour, Wachie, Saran Dijinikas, Wawiyagumang Nedunji. So hearing that voice um, sound of the language, 
um, it gives um, you know it's a it's a gift you know it's a gift um, of language I spent many years at the university um, I love going into a Patterson building I would like to see um, indigenous scholars more indigenous scholars um, in the um, at the university um, I would like you know to see that you know especially when you're teaching um, you know about indigenous education I think it's important that we uh, have um, not only in indigenous education, this applies to um, other fields um, in nursing programs as well. Forestry, we know a lot of plants, trees, so not everything um, is learned by textbook. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, if you can, if you look around, you you know, outside, you know, there's lots of teachings there. There's lots of teachings there. Just there, waiting to be, you know, waiting to be learned.